Hello everyone, time for a shop update. This month I'm going to do two featured YouTubers. There's a lot of people out there. I only do these once a month, so why not do two? Both of these guys lent a helping hand. One of them helped me. The other one helped my buddy Jamie Page uh, help redo a shop. So the first one is Scott Grant. He's the one that helped Jamie uh, remodel a shop, and he, he helped him out a lot on that. And he's the Blue Light Turner. He's from overseas. He does a lot of live videos, so a lot of them are, are longer, but he's learning how to edit and to get them shorter for your viewing pleasure. The other one is Michael Epps from Epps Creations. Um, he does a lot of really cool resin and wood turnings and he does a stabilizer and he does all the stuff I do and he does an amazing job at it. He helped me on a, a project we're gonna talk about later. Go check both these guys out. I'll have their YouTubes and their Instagrams down below. The first video since the last shop update was I pretty much rebuilt both of these bandsaws. I, I uh, replaced the bearings with the upgraded bearings. Uh, I replaced the, the tires on the wheels and changed the blades and, and pretty much anything you could do to this, I did it on that video. Um, I think it's a pretty good video. The people that watched it seem to like it. Um, if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'll put a link right there. The next video I did, I named it One Hybrid Blank, Two Cups. And it was sent to me, the blank was sent to me from Wacky Work Woodshop. Here's a sticker. Mm -hmm. uh, I made two cups to put my uh, popsicle sticks and stuff in that I cast with. These turned out pretty cool. It came out at the right time. He sent the stuff to me and I really I didn't have much time so I just came out here, did a turning video, kind of put music to it it's, and it uh, turned out pretty cool. So people that watched it think it was alright. So if you missed it, go check it out. There'll be a link up there. The last video I put out before this shop update was how to degas silicone and the reasons why you should do it. And that's exactly what the video is about, is uh, going through the steps of, of uh, degassing silicone and why it's important and just explaining the whole thing. I had a lot of fun making that video and uh, you probably see a lot of that stuff coming up. So um, once again, there'll be a link up there. Now it's time for the one that got away. Uh, but first, I know these are from last year. I'm waiting on something, and then I'm going to do something special with these. I know the season's halfway over, but it's 2020 in the middle of a pandemic. Cut me some slack. Uh. <laughs> the one that got away, now we are in a pandemic, and we can't go anywhere, and we're all stuck at home, and I was just thinking about my trip to England. So the one that got away will be my trip to England. It's a 30-minute video. It's a long video, but while you're watching it, it... it it goes it goes really fast I'm proud of the video I did a um, I came back my computers messed up it took me four days to edit that video I had like 500 clips to go through it was um, a journey nonetheless but it was um, a pretty good video and it didn't get watched a lot probably because it's a long video and I probably didn't title it right and all that stuff but the, I made a blank so Jamie could turn it at Maker Central and he did and it turned out fantastic I got to turn it at Maker Central I met a lot of cool people I'm not gonna name drop or anything but there's a lot of cool people that I look up to that I got to, to meet and have conversations with that that uh, changed my outlook on a lot of things so I'll put a link up there and at the end of the video and below to the one that got away one of the future videos is going to be how to make a fake burl. Well, obviously, it's too cold to, uh, to cast, but I did the silicone uh, mold of it. It went along with this degassing video. Uh, this thing, I'm going to do just a video on that, and then I'm going to make copies of it for a very, very special video and art project that will probably be a giveaway item for a 50K giveaway. That's a little lofty or maybe a little ambitious, but that's what's in my head right now. Things could change. Um, I'd be thankful to get to 50K, but this thing is going to be super, super cool if it turns out halfway like it's in my head right now. So uh, stay tuned for this one, and maybe you could end up with what I uh, make with it. Well, I just mentioned that it's too cold to cast, so I have one collaboration with AH Bespoke. I'll put a link to his channel below. He's a, a carver. I'm going to make him a blank, but it's, once again, it's too cold to, to turn. I have a couple other blanks I wanted to make for some other people, and it's too cold. So I need to make some molds for those blanks. And I figured while I'm doing it, I can make a video on different kinds of molds and what you can use for molds all the way from a cup to um, HDPE 
uh, silicone molds, plastic molds, all that kind of stuff, and just have like a um, don't be intimidated kind of video, I think would be really cool. And then um, I got this wood from, this is Walnut Burl. It's pretty cool, it's nice. I got it from Worldwide Burl on Instagram, so go check them out, I'll put a link below. Uh, I don't think this will be a resume. I'm just gonna put this on the lathe and turn it and uh, put on some music and, and do that. I know some people don't like the music, <laughs> but when I feel like I can give an instructional video, I'll give instructions. If not, it'll be a, a nice, well done music video. So that'll be what this is about. I almost forgot, I have another, uh, it's a piece kind of like this, but it has a bark inclusion in it. I also got it from Worldwide Burl. But it has a bark inclusion and the sides all, all, all burled out and it, it'd be a perfect candidate for a resin casting project. It's in the stabilizing process right now. So stay tuned for that one. I'm pretty excited about that. Now it's time for tool talk. I love tool talk. Um, I guess this, this is not to start a fight or anything, but I got rigid tools and some people are going to have DeWalt or whatever the case it is. I'm not sponsored. This is not, I'm not affiliated. Um, I started buying rigid tools because I wanted this light. It's super cool when I'm casting or whatever. Um, I used it on that, the last video to, to get light in that vacuum chamber. It works super awesome, and I wanted their cordless router too, so um, we all know that having a bunch of different kind of batteries around is a pain, so I just, start, I just started slowly getting some rigid tools. So I guess <clears throat> when I was, on, uh, I was on vacation a couple weeks ago, went to Oklahoma to outlet malls, and got a couple batteries. That's what made me think of all this. I got these two batteries set. Um, they had a big discount, which was cool. I was like, yeah, all right. And then they gave a, a pretty big uh, military discount too, so that pushed me over the edge. I got these. Um, I guess in the comments, let me know which style you have and why you got them. That'd be a pretty interesting conversation down there. Let's do it. So talk about affiliates. You got Amazon and Starbond and, and uh, other ones. I have several, and I'll link them all below. Um, coupon codes and everything. But you know you have a good affiliate partner when they share your content. And <laughs> make you feel part of the team, make you feel part of a part of what's going on and the, and the growth of each other. Thank you, Illumilite. And if you don't know, they have a YouTube channel, they have an Instagram. I'll link both below. They do instructional videos. They're pretty cool. They get, it's professionally done stuff, but they're having a good time. So go check those guys out. Now, I do want to say thank you to everybody that clicks the links and does all that stuff. Um, thank you to patrons. I got a brand new patron this month. It was Wayne Boyd worked with him at the place I work. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Wayne. I'll be looking forward to getting in contact with you. And um, on a serious note, COVID's not over. It's not going anywhere. I know firsthand. I'm around it all the time. It's, it's uh, let's do our parts to, to slow this thing down and, and try to get back to normal. Uh, that's all I'll say about that. So you guys be good and we'll see y'all next time.